What's up, everyone? Here is Kathy from Kathy Director, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I want to go and show you how you can create the Instagram toast filter. That is the end result. Maybe it looks different at every picture, depends on what brightness you have, what darkness, and I think it looks good enough. Hope you will enjoy it. Alright, let's get started. First of all, you need a picture that is square. It's a square. Um, yeah, you can resize it or crop it or whatever you want. The next steps go to curves. Adjustments, if you don't have it, go to window and adjustments and then go to curves. There you go and set the input, so the lower left point, click there and set it to 20. Come on, 20. It won't. I don't know why. So now we have it. Um, so now the, the picture is a bit darker. The next step, we go and delete this layer mask. So right click, delete layer mask. Next step, we go to the uh, to the left tools and choose the elliptical marquee tool, or you can hit M on your keyboard, and set the feather to 20 pixels. Then we go into the left top corner and click there, hit Shift, hold on Shift and drag it down, so it's our symmetrical kind of stuff so when we have that go and hold on alt and click on this here to create a new layer mask so alt and that and now it creates kind of our um, vignette then we go to the next um, adjustments go to levels and set it there whatever you want if you have a dark picture go and set the right point a bit to the left and I have a bit brighter so I set my left point to 10 so it's a bit darker now then as next adjustment we go and make a gradient so go down here gradient map and now oh, it's black and white but we want colors so click on the strip there and next we go to the left color and choose a dark um, purple. You can use whatever you want, so maybe something like that. And the, the right color is a, a light orange, so a peachy something, something like that. And set the opacity to 70. So, well, that looks already cool. Then we go and create a solid color layer. So go click here, down here. So new fill stuff. So solid color. And choose a dark gray. And okay. Set the opacity to 25 or something around that. Yeah. And set the mode to screen. So it's kind of a bit dark and yeah. Next we go and delete this layer mask. Go to the first layer we created, so here and on the layer mask. Then control and click there to get this circle kind of thing. Click back on your color filled layer. And hit alt and create a new layer mask so we get almost the same but yeah something like that next go and unlink this from your solid layer and hit command T to open the transform scale option but you can go to edit transform scale too and make it a bit bigger so something Go and play around with that, something like that. Then hit hit enter and it's done. So 
that looks already good but not good enough so next go and create another solid color so click here solid color layer and this time we use a kind of orange but not so much orange so like that um not right down so maybe that go and delete the layer mask and set it the mode to color dodge wow and the opacity to 50. Next go back to the elliptical marquee tool and choose a feather of 60. Don't go into the left top corner but into the picture. Hold on shift and make a symmetrical kind of ellipse stuff. So something like that. Then go and click here to create a new layer mask. And to the end we want to create this kind of border. So go create a new layer here. And go to edit, fill. And fill this with black. You can go click here and choose any color you want. And black and white and gray are standards here. So click there. We have black now. The fill set the fill to 0% so we get back to picture double click on the layer to open the layer style click on stroke and on the stroke option here set the size to 15 and the position to inside and the color to a light gray gray white thing click OK and now we have the toaster effect from Instagram so yeah that is I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please comment if you want um, more effects in Photoshop let me know what effect and well I'm open for every request in After Effects Photoshop and Cinema 4D maybe other um, maybe Premiere Pro later um, yeah, let me know and I will try my best. Hope I see you next time. Bye!